Attorney General Eric Holder is backing a transgender inmate from Georgia who is suing the state for depriving her of hormone therapy. Ashley Diamond received hormone therapy for 17 years until she was incarcerated. The Department of Justice says denying her that therapy violates the Eighth Amendment's ban on cruel and unusual punishment. The Georgia Department of Corrections follows a freeze frame policy that requires prisons to let inmates receive the same medical treatment while incarcerated that they received before being charged. But according to Diamond's suit, she was incorrectly labeled male in her prison paperwork, making her ineligible for treatment. Diamond is housed in a male prison, where she said she has been sexually assaulted and ridiculed by guards. She claims she attempted self-castration and suicide, and called her sentence three years of torture. The Department of Justice said in a briefing that prisons need to decide medical treatment on a case-by-case -case basis, calling freeze-frame policies unconstitutional. And it seems like the DOJ is following the lead of the U.S. Army when it comes to hormone therapy. Back in February, the Army approved WikiLeaks's source, Chelsea Manning, to receive hormone therapy at Fort Leavenworth as part of her transition, but Manning had to sue to receive treatment. While the armed forces do not allow transgender individuals to serve, the Department of Veterans Affairs does cover hormone therapy treatment. Transgender individuals are particularly vulnerable in America's prison system. According to a study from the University of California, Irvine, they are 14 times more likely to be sexually assaulted in prison than other inmates. And in one of the videos of Obtained by the Southern Poverty Law Center, Diamond said she was living Netflix's Orange is the New Black, which explores in part how transgender inmates are treated in American prisons. Under the Federal Prison Rape Elimination Act, prisons are supposed to take sexual identity and orientation into account when determining inmates' housing to decrease their risk of abuse. For Newsy, I'm Kate Grumke.